Since we're talking about different approaches to TCP and replacements to TCP, I wanted to highlight some really interesting and I think very well done academic research in this area. So this is a project called REMI. It was uh, done at MIT uh, by a graduate student named uh, Keith Winstein along with uh, a very famous networking researcher named Hari Balakrishnan. And the goal of REMI is to look at trying to do a better job of TCP at some of the same things that TCP is actually trying to do. So one of the observations that the people who designed this system made was that TCP um, has become this thing that, you know, the original goals of TCP were simple, but TCP has sort of spiraled into having a gazillion different variants. So TCP variants do uh, different things with slow start, they have different ways of responding to loss, and um, each one of these variants was built by some engineer trying to respond to some problem. Um, but all of these little tweaks and hacks to TCP that people do to try to get it to perform well uh, don't necessarily add up to a principled solution to trying to solve some of the same problems that TCP is trying to solve. So rather than, and, and part of the challenge here is that TCP is running in all sorts of different types of networks. So if you imagine using TCP to establish a connection between two computers in the same data center that operate over a very short network path that has a lot of bandwidth, that TCP connection is really different than someone who's at the edge of a network browsing on a phone over a very, very slow mobile data network. And the, the goal of TCP is to solve both those problems, but in reality what we have are a gazillion different variants of TCP with different sort of baked in assumptions about how the world works that have only been really tested in certain environments and shown to do a little bit better under certain conditions. And so this this whole, this whole area has become kind of a mess. If you look at all the different variants of TCP, and, and Keith does a great job in one of his talks of sort of lampooning this space, there's TCP, there, there's TCP plus any sort of you know, word that you might imagine, right? And there's dozens of these variants that people have proposed that do things slightly differently. Uh, but the question is, can we come up with a, a more principled way of approaching this problem? And so uh, what, what these guys built was something called REMI. Um, and what REMI uh, tackles is this idea of building algorithms for doing reliable uh, data collection or reliable data transmission. Um, and and uh, the cool thing about REMI uh, is that REMI, rather than trying to build something that accomplishes what you want, the way REMI works is you tell the system what you want or how important certain goals are to you. And REMI can actually study the link, use the properties of the particular link that it's, that it's operating over, and optimize for that environment based on your preferences. Um, so when we talk about TCP, sometimes you know, we've talked about both latency and throughput. And these goals are um, both important, but for different types of connections, uh, one might prefer one over the other. So for example, if I'm uh, doing a video chat, I prefer a low latency connection. If I'm streaming a huge file, I might prefer a high bandwidth connection. Um, and so the way Remy works is you tell the, the protocol, um, you tell the system how important these goals are to you. So for example, I might say that a delay is really important. I'm using a video chatting service or something like that, or I'm on a voice call. Delay is very important to me. Um, and Remy will automatically build me an algorithm that works really, really well in that scenario. Uh, and so this graph, which I think sort of sums up the whole project very nicely, shows a bunch of these TCP variants. So TCP cubic, uh, compound TCP, this is the default on Windows, TCP new Reno, TCP Vegas, I don't know why they're all named after places in Nevada. Um, but these were all different approaches to tuning TCP to achieve these goals. And yet, by building a more of a machine learning approach that allows me to automatically develop an algorithm that responds to the properties of the link, you know, Remy can do much, much better, right? And it does better uh, on along both axes. So the same, um, you know, Remy can actually outperform some of these TCP variants both in terms of latency and in terms of bandwidth, right, for, for the same connection. So I think this is exciting. It's a really radically new approach to how we build congestion control algorithms. This is academic research. You know, it still has a long way to go before it's something that we'll deploy in practice. But I think it's another example of really exciting new work on transport protocols and on sort of optimizing one of the core functionalities of today's modern internet.